All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan, and uh, I actually woke up like three hours ago, but you know, just was doing maintenance stuff, video game stuff, and of course researching cryptocurrency. Um, I don't know. I don't know if today I'll be doing any code. I think I should, but I kind of was also thinking about like a lot about getting free traffic and all, not even just free traffic in the traditional SEO sense, but just overall. Because I keep thinking to myself. Why don't I be more like Tesla and Amazon, where they don't do shit for advertising and they get all the free marketing in the world because they make you know such useful, great products? In my case, I won't be making a great product, except maybe my video games are really that good. Uh, but I mean, I definitely need some kind of like free marketing something. So that's what I'm actually uh, uh, thinking about. Um, and in the meantime, uh, cryptocurrency is just dying right now. Because uh, at first I thought it was because yesterday's uh, stock market boom was huge. Now it's going down a little bit, which would make sense because when you go up like 500 points, you know you're you're bound to have a pullback, right? You go up, you go go up a lot, and you go down a moderate amount or maybe even a lot, but less than the total gain, and then you go back up, you know, up and down, up and down. Uh, whatever the case is, uh, everyone's dumping their crypto, which is great because I sold all my Litecoin for like a lot of, you know, at $62 a piece. But now it's just in free for all. So, um, I don't know, we're going to take a look at it. But for my initial research, there doesn't seem to be any fundamental reason. So basically, all the rich assholes are just dumping crypto. And um, they say for some reason the US dollar is rising in price. So I think it's just like a you know, hardcore market. Uh, thingamajigs. I also don't understand why this thing is going up like crazy. It's like, uh, like this just doesn't make any sense. So, I mean, at this point, I think everything's just being uh, manipulated. Like, yeah, like, what are the, who the hell are these people? Right? I mean, of course, we know who Kanye is, but who's this guy? And then they have, like, different people up here. It's like, what? So, because um, from all, from the way it looks, everything's actually doing very well for Trump, so... I don't know. Like, I, I guess there. I guess uh, people are still. I guess people are wanting to manipulate this too. I mean, the Democrats are getting very desperate. Because Joe Biden really, his mental health is deteriorating in real time. All right. So Bitcoin searches for this week have filed. Have uh, oh, it has been released uh, already. Uh, ten, ten. It's actually dropping to ten. So now that crypto's nose diving, this number is probably going to continue to go down, which sucks, and it's reflected in. Uh, the prices over here too, which we'll get to. So yeah, it actually makes sense. Uh, Twenty-four hour volume is pretty high on both. So ninety-two point three billion Bitcoin down is fifty-five point eighteen percent. Bitcoin has crashed to ten thousand eight forty-eight. I don't understand why this this stupid chart's not working. Uh, at least it's working over here. Uh, I guess CoinGecko has to work on that. Litecoin's at fifty-three seventy-one. Oh, these are, this is just bad all around. Doggy coin, uh, 372.23 million market cap. So yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty brutal. Um, it's 9.20 a.m., so markets are technically not open, but it looks like everything's flat except the NASDAQ. But to be fair, the NASDAQ went way too high. It's uh, It needs to pull back a little bit. You don't just go straight up, right? You know. Stock features fall after record-setting rally, investors eye jobless claims, and then some big red letters. So now that they're not spamming the coronavirus case and death shit because it was going down, they need the fake news terrorists need a new uh, need, need a new big thing to scare people away. So they're doing this, which is actually this is actually really good. I mean, it still sucks that a lot of people are losing their jobs, but the number is starting to finally go down. Few Americans file for unemployment benefits, then blank Apple fires shot at Google new privacy ad. Well, that's hilarious because they're both assholes. Uh, I guess we'll take a look. Well, I'm obviously more interested in crypto stuff, but I'm going to go back to the movie theaters. Well, yeah, they have to because Hollywood's like, hey, we're losing a lot of money. Can you open the fucking theaters? So that's what they're going to do. Like, even evil rich people need money, so they can't go too crazy with a lockdown of bullshit. JMC coins at 6 to 8. Uh, you'll notice that prices all across the board are going to just be completely bad, because everyone wants the U.S. dollars right now. So they're just dumping all their cryptos, and you're seeing this across the board. 404 coins at 58 to 62. 
two by two is at six to seven now, probably gonna continue declining even more. Um, so my guess is once, once whatever the hell is affecting uh, all this dumping in crypto, uh, prices should actually go back up. Uh, Rix is at 40 to 45. So Rix has actually been pretty stable, surprisingly, throughout all this. So that's at least one good piece of good news. But remember, Rix was as low as like, you know, what is this? Like what, 20, 30? I don't know why it's not recording this thing properly. It was as low as like, you know, 15 and 20. Now it's back up to 40. So, so, so I guess everyone else, all the other, these other cryptos are going through the same thing. Uh, 100 coin. Um, I've noticed that they're also pulling back more uh, Bitcoin orders. There's still a lot of demand for it, but again, this overall crypto dumping is, you know, starting to hurt quite a bit. So it's at 235 or 290, but you know, it doesn't really mean much. And then someone did buy at 300, so I don't know. We just got to wait out this uh, this crap. And then speed coin still is very illiquid as well. Um, I don't know. It's all the price is all over the place, but. So far, this is, this is none of my orders, but uh, I mean, the problem is people don't want to pay this much, even though they really want the coin, and then you have everybody dumping crypto, so the price is just like totally trash. It's like 285 to 430 Satoshis of a Bitcoin, which is still technically a lot, but it's way underpriced. But there's just too much crap going on right now. So I'd like to thank the one person that subscribed, assuming anyone even watches this. Um, because I'm actually on a Brazilian uh, proxy now, because I, I just could not stand the crappy ping. Uh, but the downside is I get a lot less page views, because the Google algorithm thinks I'm in Brazil and not Australia. So I, I get a lot less uh, a lot less views, but and that's just how it goes. But I definitely sh should have taken control of everything, because obviously, you know, everyone's coming in from Prex. So welcome, welcome, of course. Uh, so yeah, like this is like I have to be like Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos, even though I won't, or Jack Ma actually. That's probably a much better uh, model for me. Well, a yeah, because he's also Chinese and from China. B he's also a billionaire, and C he doesn't really seem to be like that big of an asshole compared to like Apple or uh, Jeff Bezos. Elon Musk is also pretty cool too, so he could also be a really good model. But the thing is, I'm not that interested in building rocket ships. Base, not initially. Um, let's see. So we do want to look at that. We did look at this. Yeah, there's something really wrong with even predicted. I mean, because everything was just like everything is still going towards Trump, right? Real uh, RPC polls. Real clear. Uh, our CP polls. I, I'm, I'm. Let's see. Uh, let's try this one. Latest 2020 general election. Because uh, this was all for Trump and red. It's still a lot of blue. Uh, well, these are obviously Democrat areas, of course. The other problem is a lot of Democrats are actually voting for Trump and they're lying about it, even after the fact. Yeah, so this is a, this actually is not too bad. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see what because they're definitely having the presidential debates. Chris Wallace is going to moderate the first one, so it's going to be pretty obvious. Like it's going to be pretty obvious uh, that a lot of people are just not going to want to vote for Joe Biden. You'll still have a lot of chatterboxes and like you know the same assholes are going to spam my video game forums and Steam, just bitching and complaining. Um, I, don't know, I still haven't actually decided if I want to just ban them outright, delete their shit, or just just let them ramble. Uh, you know, free, free speech versus the need for order. Bitcoin, risk deeper price clients. Bitcoin, not good for US dollars rebound from multi-year, blah, 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 blah. Technically, this shouldn't matter because I don't remember what the cost of the dollar was in the 2017 bull run of crypto, but I think technically it does not matter. It's just a short-term thing, which can hurt. It's definitely going to hurt. Uh... Yeah, there's nothing fundamental here. Like, there, I don't see any like government thing. Like, you know, we're gonna ban this, or we're gonna start seizing shit. Like, there, there's just nothing. Here, I'll, uh, I'll pull it down to support how they do. Okay, Boyer should hold their breath. Uh, hey, I predicted 500k too, but any any asshole can do what I do. Let me see. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, Ripple transfers, nope. Can crypto power California card build up group? Nope. 
Uh, let me check my error quest, make sure no one died. If I figure out how to position my character so that, like, you know, the stupid name guy won't, like, kill everybody. Uh, nope, okay. Yeah, there's, there's literally nothing here. I'm gonna order this. Uh, I did already retweet some of this stuff. Trump really needs to stop saying, you know, China virus, but, oh, well, what are we gonna do? Ah. Uh. Uh, even Nick Fuentes actually finds it annoying too, which uh, I actually appreciate a lot. Because usually he's a very abrasive guy, and that's putting it lightly, right? Very abrasive guy. And even he thinks this is not, a, you know, because again, it's not optics appropriate. Well, on top of that, it's also just kind of dumb because uh, you're needlessly pissing off China, which makes them even more difficult to deal with than they already are. And number two, uh, actually, yeah, there's actually more, uh, there's, I actually have to worry, because, like, I see more racist black people here in New York City just giving me weird looks, right, because I'm Chinese and shit, because they blame us for the fucking virus, even though I had nothing to do with it, because I literally just live here, I've never been anywhere else, like, the furthest I ever traveled was, like, to Seattle, Washington, for PAX, but I used to still be best friends with my, um, ex-best friends, for the video game convention, uh, 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 that stretch felt good. Uh, I don't know. I, I lost my train of thought, but basically, it's just really dumb. Uh, so there's that, and then um, yeah, we have more immediate problems too. You know, so but I mean, for the for, for the most part, you know, Trump's been doing pretty well everywhere else. So I mean, he he gets to slide on this one, uh, even though it comes at uh, a big problem for me personally. But, you know, what are you going to do? He's also been doing a good job of calling out Black Lives Matter and, um, you know, all the shit with uh, violence and stuff, too. And of course, Google is starting to scrub all the anti-Black Lives Matter ser autocomplete searches. So, yeah, I mean, censorship is really getting pretty out of control. Uh, so we'll read this last. Apple fires shot at Google for privacy, so why would they care? Data safe. Uh, oh, they mentioned the Pepsi-Cola. I always call Pensacola Pepsi-Cola. Oh, uh, yeah, like when they did the terror attack by those two angry, like, Muslims. Like, it was crazy, too, because she came in on a marriage visa, and then they go around killing people. Or oh, wait, no, I'm confused with the San Bernardino. Yeah, that's the San Bernardino one. This one, the Naval Air, Air Station at Pepsi-Cola was something else, but it was the same thing, you know, radical Islamic terrorism. So, uh, which hasn't been a problem anymore, because obviously Trump took care of that. So that's why people don't really, you know, care too much about... Well, I mean, I guess you still have some conservatives and Republicans that don't like Muslims and stuff, but... At least the amount of, like, outright, like... What's the, the word I'm looking for? Hostility, for the time being, is not, um, not being triggered. Because right now, all the hostility is by the shit libs and, you know, Black Lives Matter uh, rioter types. So, yeah. Well, that's just how it goes. Yeah, so this article, I don't really need to read it. All right, let's just read this, because I actually want to get back to thinking and doing some work, so, and also trying to relax if I'm not going to do any coding today. Because, um, yeah, because I actually want to create my own cryptocurrency exchange. I could do it right now for $1,000 a month and for cloud hosting, or I pay the unknown one-time fee and then do the hosting myself, which I'm pretty sure would be, like, Five to twelve thousand dollars because usually when they don't tell you the price up front, then you know it's really expensive. Also, only 14 people use this guy's thing, which is actually pretty good because that means uh, BitHala that's the name of the open source thing. Um, that means he's making at least 14 grand a month. So, well, actually, I don't know, maybe he maybe they're not all hosting with him, but I'm definitely gonna get the cloud hosting because I need an actual third party team to manage everything, especially the security. Regulations I can deal with, right? At first, they'll just won't be in because nobody knows who I am. But the security is the biggest problem, right? You need a hot wall, a cold wall. You need, of course, you have to. It's definitely going to get hacked. People are going to try to hack the thing, so I need to make sure everything's safe. And obviously, I have to sleep, so that's what a third party system's for. True out for multi year support. US dollars rebound for crucial multi year support area, and then price of Bitcoin gold. Okay. What? Are we checked? Did they spin this fucking article? It's a nice, it's a, it's a nice thumbnail. The United States dollar has started to rebound from multi-year support levels. I tell you, see, the prices of Bitcoin and gold have both dropped off. Additionally, how long, how, how long is this article? 
Okay, not too bad. They have a really nice uh, picture. I really like it. The ECB warned that the euro is going to further catalyze the dollar's rep. What? The ECB warning against the appreciating euro is further catalyzing the dollar's rally. What? The ECB is looking to weaken their own currency so that the just as the dollar is beginning to go back up. Okay. Bitcoin gold has responded horribly to a rising dollar because asset because market prices both assets with the dollar. The dollar value goes up, the value of the Bitcoin relative to the dollar goes down. Right, that's what we're seeing. So the dollar increased from its monthly open on September 1st. The price of Bitcoin declined from 12K. Oh, so it did break 12,000. So as low as 11,160. Well, right now it's uh, bad. Go said seeing a similar response. Oh my god, lol. The near term else generally anticipate the dollar's money to strengthen this week. The ECB said it will look to offset the rising euro by controlling exports, encouraging more monetary stimulus. Yeah, this is really weird. You know what's also funny is that the dollar is rising. Then you know all that bullshit about oh well, they're the the Federal Reserve is printing more inflation. The dollar is going to crash. And then this happens. That's why it's it's all it's all just based on you know what's up here. They just don't listen to these idiots. Even if they are, do happen to be my older right wing brethren, and you know, they're still boomers, and they still like they still think World War Two is going on, right? And and then this stuff like this happens. It's it's utterly ridiculous. Currency, actually, that's the uh, actually yeah. I've been thinking like J Jesse Lee Pierce always says amazing. I need to come up with something similar too because I like to have my own talk show too. But I can't just say everything's utterly ridiculous because you know obviously a lot of situations are like oh that's interesting. You know, so I don't know, I have to cover my own little thing. But for bad stuff, yeah, I'll say utterly ridiculous. Currency analysts believe the ECB could continue to dampen the strength of the, strength of the euro. So I think what's happening is both the euro and the dollar are both increasing in price. I think that's what it is. Euro, USD, what's the current uh, thing? Looks the, looks the same as it's always been. The short term could cause the dollar out, which might place selling pressure on Bitcoin gold above G. Mm. Ah, here we go. Overall, the comments suggest that an immediate policy response from ECB to help weaken the euro appears unlikely. Uh, it will arrive more on jaw point. To what? FX shares predict the euro is up against the US dollar after initial upsurge and no clients did. If the euro rallies further, Patel suggests that a stronger reaction from the ECB is likely. So it said the ECB has warned against the rising euro on multiple occasions. I mean, we still have to worry about the stupid election. Like, the, like there's so much chaos and volatility, and it's just pissing me off. Because, like, we want stability and we want things to go up. Things cannot go up because things are very unstable right now. And there's a lot of uncertainty. Even though I personally now believe that Trump will win, will win, will win re-election. So far, he has thwart... Thwar thwarted every single I have trouble pronouncing words today has thwarted every single bullshit evil deep state you know uh, unnamed tribe that I cannot name or hint at you know uh, evil plots to overthrow you know good in western society so uh, but the caveat to that is Trump needs time to deal with it so but it's a, he knows elections uh, obviously he obviously knows elections and literally 60 days debates yet to happen so he, he's not resting on his laurel so uh, I don't know we'll have to see um, we'll have to see what last uh, last ditch uh, evil plans they're gonna come up with but they trailer they're coming down in the fading euro with continue I mean sorry there's a possibility that both the euro and the euro do for now considering the show the other do Bitcoin traders are turning cautiously bearish uh, full-time trainer okay Oh, uh, Bitcoin can move back to. Okay, I don't want to do that. Yeah, this is why. See, this guy's analysis is already obsolete because first part of it I could break through would be just like these holding their test power already a breakdown. I'd be targeting 10,600 and 10,800, which is what it did. All right, I don't want to read any more technical analysis because it, it's very addicting and it's just highly, highly. Uh, it's usually it's it's almost always wrong. So. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash GMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. So you can continue growing this channel, and then I have to like figure out more like free marketing stuff. 
All right. Anyway, uh, I'm done for the week. I'll see you all next Tuesday. Um, from what I can tell, there's nothing fundamentally different, which is good. That's the good news. The bad news is in the very short term, going into a weekend, especially the Labor Day weekend, like we're we're getting like some hardcore one-two punches. So you know, we're just gonna have to enjoy. Uh, like uh, as Steve Ballmer used to say, you know, we're just gonna have to ride the bear. Right? Gotta ride the bear. This, today's one of those days. But fundamentally, there doesn't seem anything wrong. There is, um, there's something, because even the RPC polls is not consistent with what's showing up on predicted, so, uh, can't trust anything right now. Uh, but yeah, it sucks in the meantime, because that means my income is going to go down, right? Because everyone's pulling all their money on, playing into the dollar or even the euro, so. Oh, well, that's just how it goes, so. I'll see you next Tuesday. Enjoy your Labor Day weekend, uh, even though we're all probably stuck at home anyway. I might decide to have Burger King, but I bought, no, I already bought hamburger meats, though. Oh, man. It's really because I just want to get out and get some air. Oh, well, I'll figure it out. See you on Tuesday, unless something super duper major happens, and it's just so newsworthy that I have to actually do another video. So, all right, thanks. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 100 Coin, Speed Coin, and a very nice thumbnail.